So, I have a bone to um, pick with you guys. Okay. You guys have a big company, right? One of the Relatively. Biggest, biggest in the world. The word conglomerate, you know that word, right? Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> that was made for you guys. So, but... I, Arguably. Yes, yes. You guys have the C Lab thing, Creative Lab, Creative Lab, and it's for like startups, right? Yeah. Don't you think it's a little ironic that, uh, you know, a big company is doing startups and, you know, selling that stuff? Um, you know, a lot of companies are, are trying out different things to bring out more creativity from their employees. Mm. And I think C Lab's a great example, and I think it's a great experiment. Um, that, was, that was two greats in a row, right? Yeah, great. We're gonna make this great again, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Keep selling me. Keep keep selling me whatever no, you're no, selling no, me. No, the thing is, um, you know, we have all these crazy two-eyed, four-eyed engineers, not necessarily Asian, mm. um, <laughs> in Samsung, and um, you know, they have ideas. What we do is, um, every year we uh, we put out a contest. Um, people submit their ideas. Mm. Um, if yours is selected, the committee selects your project. You're given. The committee. Uh, there's a committee. Um, you Sounds know, you, like mafia. you get <laughs> the committee says, I sanction this. Well, let's take it to the mattresses. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So committee uh, chooses this guy. Right. Um, you're, uh, that, that, that guy is given six to 12 months off work. Off to, work? To focus on that project. Off work. He's given a budget. Mm. He's given um, the uh, liberty to pick out his own teammates. From Samsung. Yes, from Samsung, of course from Samsung. So, um, yeah, uh, they do that. Um, and, you know, uh, the products that they come up with, it's really interesting. Uh, up to date, we had, um, we tried about 120. Um, so what, there were like 120 startups already? Well, not, not necessarily startups, we call them projects. Projects. C-Lab -la projects. See, I knew something fishy was going on. So, um, you know, They're some of the ideas- They're not real startups, are they? No, uh, so some of the ideas, um, they're really original. So, I would um, like to see a paper, a legal paper, that identifies this entity company, and I would like to see if it is totally independent. Oh, we can, we can get to that. But, um, <laughs> well, 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 at first, they're projects, right? Mm. So um, some of them make sense to um, integrate into our business units because they're so close. For example, a lot of VR things we do. Um, oh, a lot of C-Lab yeah, projects yeah. are VR. Uh, we're not going to spin them off. We're, we're, it's, it's more likely that we would probably... It's better um, integrated to the yes, company, of you course. mean. Because uh, Samsung's really investing a lot in VR. Um, so uh, that's one course. Um, so I think about of the 120, 50 of them were transferred into uh, business units for further Super cynical question. What does the guy who made the VR product think of this? I made this company start up. I'm going to sell my business. But Samsung's like, oh, that's pretty good. Get over here. Come on, man. We're a team member. Well, um, the idea is it's not that you're, you're building your own startup. Mm. It's giving you time off to pursue your idea as if it were a startup project. So he doesn't, need, he doesn't get called for bosses once you go out? He's like his own boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's totally independent. It's, it's, it's a C-Lab team mm. for, for the next 12 months. How, how big is a team on average then? Uh, I think we have anywhere from three to six. Three to six. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to get back to my PR books mm. for that. But mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. So they come up, make the comp So. Never spin off though. Never independent. Uh, some of them we did spin off. So, for example, there is a uh, there was a project called TikTok. Uh, pop quiz: Sound travels fastest through A liquids, B gas, three solids. Solids. Solids, right? So the idea. That's was, right. Joe <laughs> knows this stuff. That's right. Anyway, the, the idea was that um, you think I didn't know it, but I did. Pop quiz, <laughs> yes, frequency, shaky, shaky, earthquake, no, shaky, shaky. The fact that you're so know. proud, the fact that you're so proud of, of no, doing that, not, you know, you makes me wonder. Me stuff. Oh, no, 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 let's get that. It makes me wonder. <laughs> I'm very proud because I'm sure <laughs> half the people watching this did not know this until I told them. I'm pretty sure all of them did. Uh, anyway, well, anyway, go on. Yeah, so the idea is that um, they would send sounds through through um, skin and bone. <laughs> Oh, that was so, so fast. So the thing, so the thing they came up <laughs> with—that solid mass. Dude, okay, go okay, okay. Let me talk. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so um, the idea was they came up with a wristband um, that would connect to your smartphone via Bluetooth, mm. and um, the, the, you have a mic on it, mm. and then it sends signals, vibrations through your skin and bone, so you can take your phone call like that. You serious? You take your finger to your ear and you just go hi. No, it works. Nobody, nobody can overhear you. Yeah, it works because it's conducting sound through solids. Why haven't I heard about this? Uh, I don't know. We have, we've had press releases on it, too. Really? Do your homework. Interesting. I thought you were a reporter. 
I'm not a reporter. Okay. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a guy who knows that sound travels faster <laughs> and solid. And then if I, okay, but. Well, anyway, for example, companies like that, yeah. Um, it makes a lot more sense for them to, you know, spin off and um, build it into a bigger business. Hey, then tell me, tell me something more. Like besides this um, very interesting idea, what 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 else did they come up with? Um, we had a, uh, uh, I think it was an ultraviolet camera. Or, or they they use different kinds of cameras to mm. take pictures of your face, and what it does is it analyzes your skin. It does. So, for example, your skin is dry, your skin is um, unhealthy in one way, or your skin is fine. It gives you, it gives you scores and tells you how to better treat your skin. That's, that one was also spun off and, you know, when we spin off companies, it's, it's like the pink little thing. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, I know. So, um, it, uh, one of my colleagues that used to work with me, uh, she decided to join, the, join them as they spun off. So, mm. it's not just the people from the projects, but people can actually join the startup oh, as they spin off. Interesting. I also heard that one of them is totally independent though. There was this, um, I think, Indian engineer. He came up with like a toy. That, yeah, that's the one, Tag Plus. Tag Plus? Yeah, it's for a kid's toy and what it does is it shakes. And it... Tag Plus is a combination of a smart tag with four functions and a smart app that unlock new possibilities. No setup required. Unbox, click, and boom. Toy manual, videos, and other related content pop up on John's tablet. And uh, it's, 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 it's something, um, I think he, he, he signed an MOU with um, a Korean uh, a toy company or something. Mm -hmm. And then I found that fascinating too. Cause I should have done my homework. I don't, I don't know what yeah, that is. Yeah, uh, because he, 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 I think he is graduated, not only graduated, but he's like totally independent. Right, so once you spin off a company, it's independent. Of course, I mean, like financially, um, you did use company resources, and if you don't have that, mm. you, you, might, you might ask for initial funding. Mm. I'm not totally clear how that works, but you know, af after it's spun off, it's, it is an independent company. Mm, interesting. No, so, so where does, because I find that interesting, because besides being projects, you guys are going to keep doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So can I assume that if more creativity comes, you know, more companies will be like that, be born like mm -hmm. that? Of course. We've already spun off 25 companies. So, I think you sort of answered this, but importantly, why are you guys doing this? Um, there's a lot of creativity in, you know, in a, a lot of our employees, and mm. you, know, uh, our, you know, the way we operate, of course, we want to bring that out, that are not necessarily inside that the projects. That fit as important. Or, right, right. So we want to give them the opportunity to pursue their ideas, to mm. see if they can build it into a business or a business idea, a product mm. or service. So, to conclude, Joe knows that sound moves faster <laughs> in solid. That's the most important lesson from this video. And my take is that Joe being this proud, you know, I'm starting to have my doubts. Yes, I know things. <laughs>